வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் கைனமேட்டிக்ஸ் கைனமேட்டிக் சேஞ்ச் வி கேவ் த எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆஃப் தி அப்பர் லிம்ப் ஆஸ் அ சீரியல் கைனமேட்டிக் செயின் ரிமம்பர் த லோவர் லிம்ப் கேன் ஆல்சோ பி கன்சிடர்ட் டு பி அ சீரியல் கைனமேட்டிக் செயின் இன்ஃபேக்ட் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் தட் வென் த லோவர் லிம்ப் இஸ் கன்ஸ்ட்ரெயின்ட் பை த ஃப்ளோர் விச் இஸ் வென் யூ ஆர் வாக்கிங் when you are walking the lower limb is constrained by the floor so that is a form of closure right it's a closed kinematic chain there is one constraint at the hip and there is another constraint on the floor so any movement of this kinematic chain which is the thigh shank chain or the upper leg lower leg chain can happen only between these two constraints in other words bit the hip and the floor constitute the constraints within which the leg can move right likewise uh, reaching while we are uh, discussing reaching of course we restrict our attention to planar reaching reaching within a plane what are the various constraints that are there something to keep thinking about so in this video we discuss the kinematics of a two link planar chain its forward kinematics and its inverse kinematics we start our analysis with first principles and we proceed to develop the method for this type of analysis right so consider the simplest kinematic chain a two link planar serial chain right we will also be focusing on 3r or the three link planar ca- serial chain which we will do in a future video for now we restrict our attention to a 2r planar serial chain that is of this type right so there is one link ab i am going to call this link length as sum l1 and another link bp i am going to call that uh, link length as l2 right so in 2r serial kinematic chain in the case of the 3r chain there is an ab with length l1 there is a bc with link l link length l2 and there is a cp with link length l3 of course r here refers to rotary joints these chains consist of only rotary joints for the purpose of this discussion you assume that these chains have only rotary joints so now a question is suppose i know the angles that these links make with the horizontal or with the previous link or with the ground as the case may be can you find out the end point coordinates this is the big broad question before us in other words suppose i know the joint angle at a and the joint angle at b okay suppose i know that the joint angle at a is some theta 1 and the joint angle at b is sum theta 2 with respect to the previous link remember this very critical to remember this this theta 2 is with respect to the previous link ab not with respect to the ground okay the question is given that the link lengths are l1 and l2 can you use principles of trigonometry and geometry to arrive at the coordinates of the point p this is the broad question okay can you find the location of the end point using joint angles and link lengths link lengths are always known assumed to be known for example okay this is called as forward kinematics let's say i know the link lengths and i know the end point coordinate where p is is something that i know i also know the link lengths l1 and l2 can you tell me the joint angles theta 1 and theta 2 is the other question okay this is for the simple case of the two link chain when the number of links increase uh, this becomes complicated as we will see in future videos okay now if i find if i need to find the joint angles using end point this is called as inverse kinematics i know the end point and i want to know the joint angles 
it turns out that one is you know more challenging than the other uh, we need to perform the analysis and find out which one and why that is the case okay so let us start our analysis by looking at uh, this two link planar kinematic chain right the question is find the end point coordinates using link lengths and joint angles i know this theta 1 and i know this joint angle as theta 2 this is given to you and the link lengths are given to you as l1 and l2 can you find out the coordinate of the point p in other words can you express x and y as a function of in terms of l1 l2 theta 1 theta 2 some functions of theta 1 theta 2 for example can you do that that is the question how do we proceed with this analysis before we do let us uh, perform a simpler analysis of this case okay now what i am going to do i am going to take the same link length l1 and the same theta 1 a question is can i find out the coordinate b in this the answer is yes i can find out the coordinate uh, b using theta 1 and l1 how well what is the coordinate of b it has two coordinates and an x coordinate and a y coordinate and that is the x coordinate is it not that is the x coordinate that is the adjacent side of the right triangle a b x for example or uh, yeah a b x for example the adjacent side of this right triangle is the x coordinate of the point b so i could then express this as or let us call this as i am calling these two points as x1 and y1 this b is going to have coordinates x1 comma y1 the question is what is x1 x1 is the adjacent side of the right triangle a b x well uh, i know theta 1 so cos theta 1 is adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side is a x and since i know theta 1 i can actually write out x1 as l1 cos theta 1 how am i getting this well because cos theta 1 i am writing in here cos theta 1 is x 1 I have told this is the coordinate is the adjacent side x 1 divided by hypotenuse a b what is the length of the hypotenuse a b that is l 1. So, in this I know l 1 and I know theta 1. So, the only unknown is x 1. So, x 1 is l 1 times cos theta 1 it is y coordinate is this is it not that is the opposite side or the side opposite to theta 1. Now, I can write out sin theta 1 as y 1 divided by l 1 is it not the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse hypotenuse in this case is l 1 the opposite side is the coordinate y 1 is the y coordinate of this point b. So, that means I do not know y 1 I can write out y 1 as l 1 sin theta 1 is it not I am taking l 1 to the other side that means that y 1 is l 1 sin theta 1 we have not yet solved the problem it is just the beginning ok. Now, but this is not what I am interested in I am interested what is the big question I am interested in finding the x and y coordinate of the point p not the point b point b anybody can find out a high school student a 10th standard student can immediately uh, solve this and say hey what is the big deal. I am not interested in finding just b that helps me finding the coordinates of the point b helps me, but it is not sufficient. I need to find out the coordinate of the point p remember the link b p is at an angle of theta 1 plus theta 2 to the horizontal how do I know this because 
it is having an angle of theta 2 with respect to the previous link and the previous link is having an angle of theta 1 with respect to the ground. So, the net inclination of this link with respect to the ground is actually theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay. Now, I can write out well actually if I am interested I can perform a similar analysis I will leave this as an exercise to you. So, in the right triangle B x 2 P right. In this right triangle I am interested in finding the location of the point P as a function of the link length L 2 and uh, the inclinations theta 1 and theta 2. Remember how I got theta 1 and theta 2, theta 1 plus theta 2, how did I get this? Because theta 2 is the inclination of the link B P with respect to the link A B, but because the link A B is already at an inclination of theta 1 with respect to the ground, the net inclination of the link B P is theta 1 plus theta 2 with respect to the ground that is how I got this as theta 1 plus theta 2 perform an analysis similar to what I did with the previous triangle right. In the previous case I had an x I could call this as capital X 1 for the purpose of generality. So, I am having this x 1 and then I am having an x 2 ok. Now, could you find out the location of point P as a function of uh, theta 1 plus theta 2 and L 2 in the B frame of reference with respect to the coordinate B, then I can move this to the coordinate A. So, that is the idea. You could try this as an exercise, you could try this, but I will write out the final answer of uh, this point x comma y as a function of the coordinate system located at A. Can I write this out? The answer is yes. I can write this as x is L 1 cos theta 1 which is that is it not that plus L 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 similar to the previous analysis and then I can write out y as L 1 sin theta 1 plus L 2 sin of theta 1 plus theta 2. Remember it is not L 2 cos theta 2 and it is not L 2 sin theta 2, it is L 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 and L 2 sin of theta 1 plus theta 2, something to keep in mind. This is the required coordinate of the end point P which is uh, a combination of the two link lengths and the two thetas that are involved with respect to the ground. Right. We are interested in computing uh, workspace. What is this workspace? It refers to the set of all points in the plane within to which this point P will be able to reach. Right. For example, in a two link chain in a two hour chain it consists of two concentric circles the region between the two circles is the workspace right. So, I have one concentric circle which is uh, one of these two concentric circles which is the outermost circle that this is when will this be true when a b a and b p are parallel to each other or in other words the two lengths are such that are the are the entire chain is elongated complete there is uh, theta such that theta between a b and b p is 180 degrees or it is just like this a b p. When that happens I will inscribe this circle this big huge circle that is there, this circle right. I will be producing this circle. And when P is such that when it is close to that point when it is rotated around 
such that the angle is rather not 180 degrees but rather 0 degrees you will have another circle produce this smaller circle. Note that in this white smaller circle within this white smaller circle the end effector cannot enter why because the link length is such that it actually L2 in this case is assumed to be smaller than L1 because of this reason I actually cannot go beyond this circumference right, circumference of this smaller circle right. So, the set of all points or the area that is shaded in yellow in this case is a set of all points to which this point P or this end effector P can move to this set of all points to which this end effector P can move to is called as the workspace of this uh, kinematic chain ok. Remember this is a function of the link links L1 and L2 the outer circle has a radius of L1 plus L2 the inner circle has a radius of modulus of L1 minus L2 ok. Of course, if L2 is greater than L1 this will this inner circle will, will essentially vanish, but for the purpose of uh, discussion we must have this uh, more uh, you know non obvious case. So, uh, with this uh, we come to the end of this video. In the next video, we will be looking at uh, inverse kinematics. Thank you very much for your attention.